In this episode, I'm going to explain the four count process for a side snap kick or yapodo chagi. In a previous video, I explained how to perform a front kick. And if you remember, you want to bring your knee up to the front of your body. Another video, we talked about the roundhouse kick where you prepare your knee to the inside of your body. Now with the side kick, you're going to prepare the knee to the outside of your body here. So you can kind of think of, here's a front kick, a round kick, a side kick. So the four count timing on this, I like to just stand in a natural position. I'm gonna look over my right shoulder here and kick with my right leg. So bring my leg up straight up here. Notice this is going to be what's considered the outside of my body here. And then here, knee up one. Two, you're going to pivot with the supporting foot and turn your heel so it's facing the target and extend. Back. And then from here, notice the knee stays high as I pull my hip back to this position here. That's the four counts. You could kind of think of it as six. Let's break it down into the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then of course you can combine two of those intermediate positions so it's a count of four. So from a rear leg here, from a rear leg here, knee will come up over to the side, we'll begin to pivot. One, now we'll combine two and three to count two. Okay, now we'll combine counts four and five to three, and then count four, set it down. Then from a front leg, say we're in a back stance here, knee comes up over to the side, one, two, extend, three, and four. Full speed. simple process will help you improve your performance with your side snap kick or help your students as they progress with this technique.